Hi. In this video, we're going to learn how to take our existing LabVIEW VI and convert it into a model that can be imported into NI Veristand. What we have here is a simple low-pass filter VI. It simply takes an input, signs a, a, cutoff, a cutoff frequency, and filters it and provides an output. Looking at our front panel, we'll see we have an input signal, a low cutoff frequency, and an output signal, which we call filtered X. Looking at the connector pane, this top connector is marked, this is our input signal, and it's marked as required. If we look at our second signal on the bottom, which is our cutoff frequency, we can look at this one, and we'll notice that it's marked as recommended. What that means is that when we import our model into NIVERISTAN, the input signal will be marked as an import, and the low cutoff frequency, since it's recommended, will be marked as a parameter. This gives you the option to, to manipulate signals and, and choose how they get imported into NI Veristand. So now we have our, our, our VI and it's all ready to be built into a model. All we need to do is go to Tools, NI Veristand, Generate NI Veristand Model from VI. Click the box here. And what's going to happen now is this, we're going to need a, a dialog box populate. Um, I get to choose where I put my model VI. Um, it'll actually be a .lv model file, um, which can be imported much like a, a model DLL in, in a typical traditional uh, modeling language. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on my on my desktop. I'm going to click Build, and now the LabVIEW uh, DLL compiler will go through and it will build the model DLL. Um, this process can take anywhere from uh, 30 seconds to a few minutes depending on the size and complexity of the model. Now our model is pretty simple so it shouldn't take very long but don't be alarmed if you see uh, a not responding sign as it's compiling. Um, it's perfectly normal um, and as soon as the compilation process is done um, we'll have our model and we'll be able to import that into NI Veristand. So we're still building our model. It shouldn't take much longer now. Very close, we should be able to click finish. There we go. So uh, we see we, we've built our, our LabVIEW model. Notice it has a .lv model file extension. Um, and we can locate it on, on the desktop. Um, and now we can go, and go ahead and open up NIVERISTAND and import that model DLL into, um, into NIVERISTAND. That will be included in another video. Um, that will show you how to import that model into NIVERISTAND. So now we have a fully functional model that we can use that we created in, in LabVIEW. Thanks for watching.